Hello, everyone. Well, I hope this is working. So, uh, bit of a bit of a bootleg setup. Can you hear me? I don't sound rough, do I? We can hear you. Hey, there we go. Merry Christmas, gang. A very happy holidays to you all. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day. I hope Santa's been good to you. It's good to see you. Yeah, how's everyone doing? How's everyone getting on? Oh, Kiryu, thank you for the 10 gift subs. Jesus Christ. I don't even start it. It's good to see you. Yeah, every, everything's a bit scuffed. Um, I haven't streamed on this PC since the Stardew Valley stream last year for Christmas. It's been a little while, uh, and everything decided to just break, like, in typical fashion, like, 20 minutes before I was supposed to go live, so I was just like, oh god, I gotta try and figure out what's happening. <laughs> that was last year? Yeah, it was! Like, the, the, the Walter White Christmas special, basically. That was last year. Oh, thank you for the hype train, folks, and everyone's sub, and it's very kind of you. But yeah, it's a bit of a bootleg setup, but hey, we're making it work. Very Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Uh, we're live for a few hours today. Uh, I just thought, for the final stream of the year, because this, this is the last one, uh, it might just be kind of nice to just hang out, chat, and I thought we just kind of like shiny on some Pokemon for background more than anything. And yeah, let me adjust my mic slightly. Is that a bit better? OBS is saying, like, hey, you're, like, in a deep fat fryer for audio quality. I think that might be a bit better. That might be a bit better. Can't wait to make all the I haven't watched your streams all year joke. Your mic is fine. Okay, I'm just, just a bit iffy about it. It's because I'm, like, on a different PC and whatnot. Okay, we're good. We're good. Right, Marie, for some reason, just wants to make an entrance. Like, she's... Well, he's just here this time. Like, Marie, please. <laughs> Marie, we're just under attack. We, we've gathered a lot of Pokemon that have just come to watch. It's like, what's going on? Like, who, who is he talking to? Oh, we've stepped on a dog. Hang on. Clumsy me. Oh, Kami, thank you for the 400 bits. Thank you very much. Uh, genuinely, thank you to everyone that's subbing on that. It's very kind of you. But yeah, I hope everyone's having a very Merry Christmas. I, again, last stream of the year, I thought it'd just be nice to have, like, basically a just chat and stream. Just hang out. Arson's here. Arson's, uh, well, not alive and well. Arson technically died, so that's why Arson is now a ghost type. Can show you like some of the Pokemon that like, I've got like transferred up here. Uh, we'll get we'll get to what the fuck is happening here with the uh, entourage of shiny deli birds. <laughs> um, but I, I've transferred up some like Pokemon. I've got some like other ones. Uh, I've been like for my Christmas and part of like my off time from streams. I let you I'll let you guys know what I've been doing in my off time. I've been like training up Pokemon. From like past games and like past you like ones that I've used. So like, I have like an old scissor, I have like an old ho ho. And I've basically been making like effort va like competitive sets for all of them. Like here's like my actual like this is my actual Alpha Sapphire team. So I had to transfer them up. Uh just to get them in like a modern Pokemon game, see? Got the whole gang here. Shout out to to a very painful search for shiny Feebas back in the day. Is this is like the event Metagross? I don't know if people even remember this. This is like one owned by Steven. Way back in the day. Got my Lahios and Lahias. There's Pingu the Empoleon. Over from Legends of Arceus. Here's like a bunch of like the Gen 5 Pokemon. Like here's like Grief, of course. Uh, the team I've been kind of using is like. Uh, if I can just slap them together, it's like something like this. And here's my uh, Doctor Who as well. So I've been using all these, so I have, like, all my favorite starters. 
uh, Crumpet, Taffy, and a Dragonite for good measure. This is like the team I've been using a lot in my off time. Ah, where is Shitface? I don't think Shitface is available in this game. I don't think you can get Shitface. Make me feel old, why don't you? <laughs> yeah, no, no, those gen, like, Gen 6 Pokemon, those are 10 years old. It's been so long. Uh, Arson's actually the best one here for, like, kind of shiny hunting and stuff. Because Arson, like, kills them super quick. Like a faster animation. Let's give him an old slap. Is that Cinderace gun? Well, I I, th I think so, because I, th I think, um... No, that Cinderace, I think, is Bullet. In Gun's honor, it's a, it's a different Cinderace. Gun is still over in uh, Sword and Shield. I've, like, got main teams left in a lot of my Pokemon games, but I transferred as much as I could. Alpha Sapphire is one I wanted to transfer over, because I think I'll probably like, just start a new run of that at some point. So I was like, might as well get the team out of there. Oh, God. But yeah, I thought we'd just do some uh, chill shiny hunting. If I can get this to connect to the internet, I'm hoping it works. Ooh. <laughs> hoping it works. Oh god, wait, 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 wait. Uh. Oh! That could have been bad. <laughs> it's okay. We hit our screen just barely in time. <laughs> <laughs> that was close. <laughs> you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna try and connect online today. We're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're not gonna chance that. Scuff stream setup. I have nothing to like hide the screen. <laughs> yeah, very scuff stream setup. Okay, uh, I mean, that's a bit of a shame. I think there's supposed to be like Dratini outbreaks in that today, but. Uh, I, I do- I do not have access to the internet. We- we can- we can hunt the deli birds. Merry Christmas, let's go kill the Santa Pokemon. Santa knows where you live. Dachshund stream, that's Pog. It's like, my gift to you is revealing precisely where I live. <laughs> Oh god, no, we're, we're all right. We're all right. Yeah, I, I guess we might have to kill Delibird. Bird. Um, I, I, I want to show you something funny that's going on too. They have like a, they had a Christmas event. It was supposed to technically end today. Well, sorry, um, yesterday. Uh, but because I haven't connected online, it's still active on my end. Um, so you might be wondering, like, why do I have? Nine shiny deli birds. <laughs> I have so many of these. Uh, it turns out there was a deli bird like kind of outbreak event where these guys were appearing in droves all across the wild, and it was really good to farm them because the item they drop is actually worth a shitload in the item crafting, like material component. It's worth like fifty percent. For one of Deli Bird's parcels, whereas the regular items only were about like 15 to like 18 percent. So I farmed a shitload of these, uh, which is why I now have a thousand of them in my bag. Uh, so usually, if you use parts, it takes a lot more than that to get it to a thousand percent to craft 10. Uh, but because we have so many, we can just, like, quickly print more items. So it's, like, insane value. Because Deli Bird, I think, is supposed to normally be quite rare uh, in the game. But obviously, because of the outbreak, it's like, hey, it's actually really fucking common. So we've got, we've just got loads. We've got so much. Give me that Masterpiece tea cup. Let's just pick that up. Uh, just a nerd girl. Thank you for the five gift subs. N1, thank you for the five gift subs as well. Uh, Rianel, thank you for five quid as well. Hair teachers, I want to say thank you for streaming. The second Christmas in a row that I've been sick and had to isolate, so your streams have given me something to do while stuck at home. 
Thank you uh, for all you do for us. Have a great Christmas. Oh, have a lovely Christmas too. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope you feel better soon. Hope you're keeping well nonetheless. Very happy holidays to you. I, I've been gambling a lot in my off time though. I have uh, 2.8 million Poké Dollars saved up. <laughs> I have more stuff to sell here that I've just like, I've not gone around to the vendor for yet. Shout out to the 21 Big Nuggets. <laughs> I've got like so much candy and stuff. 11 ability patches. I think I found another Master Ball in here too. Um, I, I've just been having a lot of fun. I'm just enjoying Pokemon in my off time. The casino died for this. Uh, see, I, I, th I think even like, I think I got another Master Ball there too. I'm up to four now. We used one on Meloetta. And I use one on Taffy, so this is like, I, I've had six Master Balls this game minimum. This is the best PS2 game of 2023. It is! It, it really is. You know, we're gonna go, we're gonna go one more gamble. Just one more. But you know, we might as well actually go a few, because if I'm gonna be farming Deli Birds, I need to clear some space in my inventory. Ah, <laughs> oh, God. Sammy, thank you for 100 bits. What'd you get for Christmas? I got a drinks cooler. That's very cool. That's very cool! Ha <laughs> ha! Um, I very kindly received some Pokemon cards. Uh, Pokemon cards, some Lego. Uh, I got an art commission of Taffy. Which was very sweet. Uh, I actually had some more Pokemon card luck even this morning. Like, Jesus. Uh, I got, like, an alt art of, I think, Sandy Sh Sandy Shooks? Sandy Shocks? And, um, oh, what other ones? I got, like, an Aegis Slash, like, Secret Rare and that. I, I've had, like, stupid luck with, like, Pokemon cards. Show us the art. The, the setup is so scuffed um, that I'm not going to chance anything. Considering I've almost effectively doxed myself this morning, <laughs> I am not taking any chances. I hope that's understandable. <laughs> oh, God. Steam down, you have another Prezi there. Oh, thank you very much, Erzy. I will, I will have a, I will have a look there later. But thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Everything's a bit scuffed and broken on this PC at the moment, so I can't actually hop on right now. But thank you. Yeah, I mean, I've been having a lovely Christmas. It's, it's been, it's been very nice here. Uh, Dan, how come you're going to be on hiatus for a while? Are you moving house or something? I just need a break. Oh, I'm just, I'm just taking a break. Like, uh, I always try and take a break, like, around after Christmas. Uh, like, New Year's and then kind of into January. I'm not sure when exactly I'm coming back. Like, um, I'm hoping latter end of January. I, I know there's some good shit coming out then. I know Turnip Boy Robs a Bank, I think, is finally confirmed to be releasing then. So that'll be really fun. Give, give me some lure balls, yeah. Uh, so I'm not entirely sure just yet, but you know, I always try and take a break around this time of year. Uh, just to get some downtime in for myself, you know. Gonna be meeting up with some friends for New Year's and whatnot too, so I, I, I'm, I'm really excited for that. And then we'll be back and refreshed in the new year with some fun new videos and streams for y'all. I've got, I've got some stuff. I've got some stuff cooking. I've been cooking, chat. So we'll be back then. If you want some stuff to watch in the meanwhile too, like, I mean, we got the best of out. You know, you have a movie there. You have all the videos from the past year. They're, they're, uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not letting you go hungry. I'm not letting you go hungry. There's stuff for you. Oh god, we're getting really lucky on these, lucky on these spins. Uh, hangry boy, thank you for 500 bits. Hey, T, nice to catch a bit of a stream before going to bed. A few hard years, I've recently been able to get into a proper. A proper house and got accepted to do a bachelor's of education hoping to do English. Thanks for the love of the year. Oh, massive congratulations. That's exciting stuff. Congrats on the move. Congrats on the bachelor's. Very exciting. I'm happy to tune in for some Christmas gambling. <laughs> 
It, it wasn't supposed to be Christmas gambling. I wanted to connect to the internet and maybe get like a shiny Dratini. <laughs> but I can't. <laughs> I can't do that. So, you know, we'll we'll make do. It's just Christmas gamble in a while. And then we'll, we'll, we'll hunt more Deli Bird. And we'll see what outbreaks we have. Oh, God. Might as well play Genshin at this rate. <laughs> have you tried using your phone as a hotspot to connect? Ah, uh, I, I, I really just don't want to take any chances. I'm gonna, I'm, we're just gonna go off, we're just gonna stay offline tonight. We're just gonna stay offline. I think that's just safest. Oh god, uh, Janie, Anna, thank you for 500 bits. Happy Christmas, RT. Graduated from UCC this year and hoping to move abroad to teach English in 2024. Thank you for an amazing year of content. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, congratulations there. But, like, gee, eh, getting a degree, graduating. Seriously, like, like, yep, so many smart people in chat. Actual professors. Like, either currently or in the making. Like, all just hanging out here. Oh, massive congratulations to you. What are you gonna be shiny on? Um, probably not another deli bird, let me tell you. I think, uh, I think we've got enough of them. So we'll just we'll just gamble some of the deli bird presents away and then we'll um we'll shiny hunt some more back up if we're stuck offline. We'll see what we'll see what waves we've got. What we can hunt there. All the cool nerds watch RT game, trust me, I'm a doctor. You need your update there are Gerald on outbreaks now, which are worth just as much as Deli Bird, I think. Oh thank you. That's good to know. I wanted to hunt them, yeah, because it's like it's like a Dratini, like a Jang Moo, I think, and Duraldon is the three. This is just a bit more interesting than, you know, like the tent shiny deli bird. Most efficient are Ditto and Beldum. Beldum, I kind of get Ditto because Ditto can be anything. I don't understand Beldum. Not entirely sure. Yeah, Merry Christmas, gang. Yeah, good to see us. Shout out to the Aussie gang as well. Some of them might actually be awake still and able to catch the stream. This is early enough in the day. I just got Mario Wonderful Christmas and I'm very excited to play it. Hope you enjoy it. It's a fantastic game. Aussie gang present. They're here. Currently building my new Lego with my mom. Oh, that's very sweet. Yeah, well, what Lego are you building? I've got, I've got a Lego Christmas tree to put together later. Very appropriate. I'm in Taiwan, about to go to bed. Get some good rest. Uh, angry, thank you for another 520. Wish I could see the genocide that's about to commence. <laughs> Jeez. 3,420 Wulu are not enough. Let's see, I have to see some gambling streams you are known for. Aussie gang present and ready for bed. Jesus Christ. It's 12.26 a.m. on Boxing Day here in Australia. God love you. Asia gang, hello. Yeah, just other side of the planet gang in general. It's nice to get the catches. Yeah, let's get get some of our gambling in, and then I promise you we'll do something that's not gambling. Let me go down to like uh, 11k BP. We can sell some supplies uh, to Grandma too and see how we're doing. <laughs> Got a Lego X-wing trench run set. That's really cool. Yeah, they have some really nice Star Wars sets. They put a lot of effort into them. Canada gang present, good luck on the hunt. Thank you. 
poor grandma's working on Christmas. Well, someone's gotta buy like all the shit we're generating here. <laughs> you know? How else are we gonna get like the finances for our next Lamborghini in this game? Like, come on, Grandma. <laughs> oh God. Is he even checking his drops? The thing is, I'll check him after. Like, we, there's so many rolls here. This is like the point we've gotten to with the item machine. We're kind of just like paying attention. Like, is there maybe a master ball? And otherwise, we're just rolling. And like, we'll just like do a tally at the end. Oh, speaking of potential Master Ball. I've already won two Master Balls off this. Which is like, shocking. Uh, this was a mistake. Thank you for the five gift subs. Uh, Meadow, thank you as well for the five gift subs. It's very kind of you. Very happy holidays to you both. Thank you. Okay. Oh, Ooh. could be. Not today. I mean, there's a beast ball in there, which is like pretty much as valuable. Very rare. Okay. About ten more rolls, gang. Ten more rolls, and we'll do something different. <laughs> I have something. Something I understand as well. You can actually trade with gym leaders. I haven't got any of the trade at Pokemon yet. Uh, I actually really want to trade with Larry and see what he has. So we we might give Larry a call like on Christmas. Call him into work, you know. I'm sure he's gonna love that. Trade Larry and Arceus. I'll give him like the most valuable Pokemon I can. <laughs> Poor Larry's working on Christmas. Yeah, he is. Arcane, thank you for the hundred bits and the kind words. Thank you very much. Managed to get into my ideal master's degree university course. Another, another very ed highly educated chat member. Congratulations to you. Everyone's like getting degrees or signing up for university. <laughs> uh, Rene, thank you for 200 bits as well. Thank you very much. Been watching since I was a young teen. Now I graduate from a BA honors degree in Japanese next July. Oh, that is fantastic. Delighted for you. <laughs> That's like four people who have graduated. <laughs> or like mentioned it this stream. <laughs> We're gonna have like the class of RT game and it's gonna be like all of you here. And before you get your degrees, put the lever on the slot machine to you know, see what kind of shininess you get in your piece of paper. <laughs> Let's go! It's graduation day, apparently. <laughs> oh, God. Add to the academic achievements, my first peer review paper was published this year. It's about taxing the rich. <laughs> Looking forward to a daisy fill 2024. Oh, thank you very much, Mistake. We'd love to see it. Degrees and gambling go hand in hand. There's, there's a commentary on uh, student loans in our society here, I fear. <laughs> Uh oh. Roblox stream, but we actually have done a Roblox stream before. I don't, I don't, I don't think I'll, that's one I'd ever do again, though. Like we were talking about the, the other day, I just like that game just makes me feel uncomfortable now, considering just kind of how awful it is. Uh, but we, you know, we've done it once. So much has changed in Roblox since you streamed it. You can have Five Nights at Freddy's, I hear now. Apparently, I was making headlines. Hang on, just give me one sec. Grab some. Water. 
water is not looking too good. Might take a break in about 20 minutes just to get a glass of water. Apologies for a scuff stream set up and prep. A new FNAF game released. H how many are there now? Because I, I, I like probably checked out and even following them. Like FNAF 3? Like that's, that's the last one I remember. Oh, uh, like it's just seeing people play and stuff like that. There are 10 main lines. Depending on what you consider FNAF game 15. And there's spin-offs? Bloody hell. That's a lot. They got a movie now as well. Gonna be honest, I I, I think I think I said this before. I don't think the FNAF movie was very good. I did see it. I don't think it was that good. I, I love like kind of just anything like the Jim Henson company touches because they were like in charge of like a lot of the animatronics and I love that part of it. But like, I, I've thought about it since then. It's like, yeah, I, that's, that's really not for me. It's really not for me. You weren't the tar target audience. Yeah, but like, it, it's a weird one, isn't it? Because I would have thought that I am. Because like, FNAF is a horror series that's aimed for adults, but it's now for kids. Um, it, it's like a weird genre one. It's like how like, you know, like, you know, your little seven-year-old brother plays Call of Duty. An 18 plus game. With very mature themes. Like, it's, it's very confusing. Audience-wise, for some stuff like that, I fear. When the fuck was FNAF for adults? Well, it basically is horror Pac-Man. It was always sort of like, I mean, that way, I believe. I thought you're too much of a pansy for horror. It wasn't even that scary, to be frank with you. Uh, what was I looking for again? Looking for something. I think I was just gonna heal. Oh yes, okay. Before we go with like shiny out and proper, I was I was I was gonna check how many of the deadly bird parcels I have for myself, just for a reference. Um, so I'm gonna need to replace these. I need to get 600 more. That's fine. Uh, we gotta beat up Larry and just like see if we can get unlock his trade. Call a special coach. Come on, Larry. We're calling him in over Christmas. I was supposed to be spending time with my family. By the way, have you had a chance to visit the cafeteria here at Blueberry Academy? I hope they serve turkey because that's the closest I'm gonna get to a nice family dinner now that you've called me into work at one in the afternoon on Christmas. No. No, they don't, they don't have turkey, Larry. Season the food with a heavy hand, which the students here prefer, I suppose. But the sheer quantity is what's truly noteworthy. I have no time for spice, uh. I just have my fries nice and plain. No salt for me, because that's a. that's a little too spicy. No, I didn't expect you to pay so much attention to my ramblings. You really are a strange one, aren't you? That suits me just fine. Maybe you'd even be interested in trading Pokemon with me. I've got something. Nice and plain for you. Oh, he's got a Dunsparce! Should I just give Larry a shiny deli bird? I could. Um, <laughs> just Here's my ride on. <laughs> Larry. Larry, you gotta take the Terrapagus. <laughs> Oh god, uh, we, we gotta give him something cool. Um, honestly, yeah, I, I I think we'll give him a deadly bird. It has to be a normal type. 
Oh wait, 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 hang on, I backed out. Wait, 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 hang on. If I talk to him again, will he will he try? Uh oh, I didn't I didn't fuck it, did I? Okay, alright, no, he's still interested. Wait, are these not shiny locked? Hang on, could we get a shiny from Larry? Is that actually possible? They are shiny locked. Someone else is saying that you can. You can't trade shinies. Okay. All right, they are locked, Ali. Oh, we were gonna like, like get Larry's shiny, the Dunsparce. Okay, well, merry, merry Christmas, Larry. We're gonna give him, we're gonna give him like a deli bird. You deserve it. No, why not? <laughs> why won't it let me? I want him to have one. Why? Why won't it let me do that? I can give him the level 100 Pikachu. <laughs> no, no, I, I want to give him something. I want to give him something better than that. Larry, do you just want a ditto? Could give him a ditto. Are there any, are there any like normal pirate type paradox Pokemon? I don't think there are actually. I don't think so. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just give Larry a ditto. He'll, he'll, he'll love a ditto. Here you go, Larry. It's gonna become whatever he wants, but he'll probably keep it as ditto. It could be any boring Pokemon that makes it boring too, right? That's the idea. Wait, the Dunsparce get. Thanks, Larry. Is it possible to get a three-piece Dunsparce from Larry? Or is it always just a two-piece one? A ditto. Interesting. This will be fun to raise. Thank you for the trade. He seems so tired. This will be fun to raise. We love you, Larry. Yeah, he wants to battle again now, but I, I, I think, I think you can just rebattle him whenever you want. I think the main thing was getting like the trade at Pokemon. I think they all have one. Yeah, so Larry's marked with like a gold, gold ring around his profile now. I actually do want to get Iono's Magnemite. <laughs> As much as I, like, absolutely hate her, she is my second favorite gym leader in this game. Because she's just the most interesting one. Let's see if Iono will trade with us. He loves Iono. Okay, chat went nuts with my Terrarium Tour, specifically my little Magnemite hair pair went on a bits bits smash rampage in Chargestone Cavern. Some Academy-ish types even sent me a thank you for the good PR. Yo ho ho! That was such a smash hit. I'm gonna stick around this blueberry place looking for more stuff to stream. So you got any hot tips? Let me know. Only me. Okay, let's let's try. Let's just destroy her. <laughs> we need to trade Pokemon. It's literally just RT in game. That's why I hate her. <laughs> I am reminded of myself. She's gotta go. Real gamer, thank you for the two gift subs. Thank you very much. Uh, if I just terror fire and just kill everything with Arisa. Yeah, we'll get back. We'll get, we'll do some shiny hunting after this. We'll see what outbreaks we have and shit. Spam fire. 
You need to call each coach three times the trade. First time battle, second time dialogue, and third time dialogue and trade. Thank you. So I, I need to get I Iono to leave and then call her again. Spam flamethrower. Do to get the secret coach the game tells you about. Yeah, I, I really I really want to do that too. I'll probably have that done by the time we um because the because the epilogue is going to be coming out in January. By the time we get to that, I'll probably have that done. I'm probably going to be playing like a lot of Pokemon over Christmas, just messing about with the DLC and stuff. So I I should be able to show that off by then. I'll get some more of like the the trade at Pokemon too. Who do you've heard just bothers me? Why are you wearing something so baggy that you can't use your hands? Yeah. Yeah, no, me too. It's fashion. <laughs> you know they're gonna be selling that hoodie at some point too. If they do sell it, as like an actual piece of clothing. They better make it. So it is just as like functionally useless and practical. Because otherwise otherwise it's devastating. They make that hoodie and it fits uh, like it's to like to the sleeve. Something's wrong. Will you buy it? No, I think I think I'm good. Oh yeah, I forgot she, I, she she terrors her last one. That's right. Iono cosplay from Dad when no no <laughs> none of that. Xander, thank you for the two gift subs. Already signed up for Daisy. That's enough for now. Larry cosplay would. A la I don't think a Larry cosplay takes much effort. I just have to look really tired. God, I'm exhausted. Let me, let, me, let me just like stay up for a week. And then we'll have a Larry cosplay stream. You smash that subscribe button. What does it even mean in this context? I can't believe she says that. Oh man, I lost. But look at those viewer numbers. This is bittersweet. Wait, my loyal fans just want to see how I would react losing to a champion. Now, viewer numbers are viewer numbers. Thanks to an SSS teardrop. Some mega exclusive Iono merch. Oh, she gave me like her phone case. Okay. <laughs> I can't believe she says smash the subscribe button. Like, that's that's sickening. Okay, Iono's already here, so I have to call like other coaches. Um I can't remember like half of the gang. This is like the baker lady. Just need to call them all and like battle. We can call rapping grandma, we could rhyme. No disrespected fish uncle. <laughs> the iconic character, of course. Okay, what's Larry's the Dunsparce like as well? Oh, that's terror flying. That's kinda cute for flavor. Serene Grace, is that its hidden ability? It might be. I'll have to make a box for all the, like, the gym leader Pokemon that you get. Has a special mark as well. That's cool. Hey, 
Yeah, let's fight off the bugs real quick. I'm just trying to get another Pokemon to, like, to trade. I just want to see. I'm, I'm guessing for Iono, it's like a Magnemite or something. That actually suit me quite well. I'm, I'm actually looking for, like, a Magnezone. It should have a mark. Cool. We'll check what that is in a moment. This guy exists. It's nearly been an hour and we're still not shiny hunting. False advertise. We will soon, I promise. Does everyone explain why the chef chip leader is bug type? I mean, I think the idea was just to like give the gym leaders like kind of like jobs and more like position and like shit that they're doing. So there's like a mix of them, like, it's why like the water gym leader is like running a restaurant. Taffy, we're gonna go fancy terror here. Champion of Paldea. Just felt right to get the fancy hat for her. So we're probably not going to be getting much of a buff from it, because I think it only works once for each type. Just switch out. We'll, we'll see fancy taffy later. My favorite food, water. <laughs> Welcome to my water restaurant. We only serve fish. You can eat my, the Pokemon on my team. It's a high quality dining experience we offer. Oh Jesus, sheep. Thank you for the 5,000 bits. Hi there, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays to you. Also wish you a nice break for a while. Thank you for the content no matter what. Thank you very much, it's very kind of you. Thanks as ever for all the support, Chief. You've, you've been very good to me. Very much appreciate it. Got a shiny Delibird in the first outbreak I visited. If you're farming Delibird, you might be able to get a few more. So there's a... Uh, there, there's a lot of them. Let's just see what outbreaks we have after this. I I, I can I can leave like search for Iono's try till a bit later. If you get a shot hundred shiny deli bird turn to deli shiny like deli like iron bundle. <laughs> Don't think so. I I have like a an iron moss now as well, which is actually kinda cool. I created a uh, shiny Fluttermane for it. Soft except for Outbreaks if you don't like the ones you have? I mean, I could. I could. I I'd say, I also don't want a chance anything, just because it's got stream setup. Should be grand. How big is your monitor? <laughs> Uh, it, it's a monitor. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Uh, Ruby, thank you for 500 bits for watching your streams. You live in Japan. I can't wait to see what this next year brings. Thank you very much. Thanks for supporting me all the time. Yeah, geez, that was five years ago now. Why don't you catch a real-life shiny animal, Dan? I'm sure an animal with a rare color pattern is worth more than the lines of code. I mean, I mean, let me just go find, like, a tiger. Oh, sweet Herba Mystica is actually really good. That's a really good reward for fighting her. Jesus. 
Alright, I need, um... Alright, let's, let's just real quickly cycle them. Just call in rapping grandma. And then we'll just call back Iono immediately. You know who it is, baby. Oh, stop talking already. Someone here asked for a rhyme feature. Time to show you how to unleash the spirit. Mute the rapping grandma. What could they possibly be talking about? Name is Katie, and I'm here to say I like making pastries for people to eat. You patissiers bakes fresh sweets and serve them all up in your face. Katie, baby, that ain't rap. You're just stringing, stringing words together. Rap's got to rhyme, else you're just talking over a beat. You need to hit the rhyming dictionary. Rap sure is hard. Why would I hit a poor dictionary? It didn't do anything to me. Can't tell if you serious right now. It's kind of scary. That's me saying that. Okay, Katie, Katie, it's time to, it's time to go. It's time to get going. Where is Iono? Hey, let us, you know what I know. Dramatic pause, drum roll. I know that you kept your promise not go collab with other channels. What a friend, though. <laughs> Wait, did I promise that? Iono, I have some news and context for what we're doing right now. You're a young, fresh-faced champion. Any channel you collab with would rake in the views, but you stayed a loyal Iono zoner. Dare I ask, are you gonna keep on collabing exclusively with me? Uh, I might branch out. <laughs> nope, you can't pull the burrito wool over my eyeballs. In your hardiest of hearts, you always be part of the Iono zone faithful, right? Right? She's in chat right now. I don't know about you, I'm thinking, let's seal this exclusivity deal. Contract time has been cancelled because I forgot to bring the contract. Was she trying to get me, like, to join her network? Like, is she, like, actually representing Machinima or something here? <laughs> it's like, sign on up. You know, we'll, we'll, we'll take a share of your profits. But can't contract it up, let's... Can't, can't trade it up. Want to swap some Pokemon? What you give me, give me for my little Magnemite friendo. But we're not trading Larry's John Sparrows. Yeah. Uh, I, I think I know what I'm looking for. <laughs> Wait, is it not there? Oh no, there's no Garbodor or Trubbish! <laughs> I was trying to find them. Uh, let's, let's see what else we could trade her. We could just give her a Rotom. I've got, I've got like an extra one of these just sitting about. Rotom's not doing much. I, I have like another Rotom I can use too. I did Terror, like change this one's Terror type. Oh no, it was caught like that. I think. Okay, I have, I have a Rotom. There you go. You're lucky I don't have a bag of trash to hand Iono. It's actually getting something nice now. A Magnemite. Did I fight with the Pokemon? You trade them. Um, I don't know. Champions Rotom. If I train it up, it'll rake in those sweet, sweet viewer numbers. Uh, cough. Sorry, I'm just. Been with gratitude. Definitely didn't say whatever someone might think I was saying. Like, if Iono was, like, a real streamer. Like, this is, like... 
the absolute most toxic personality. Like, she, she's literally the worst kind of streamer. Where it's like, all I care about is the numbers. Viewers go up. Think of, like, the money I can make. Like, she, she really doesn't care. She doesn't even want to talk to me unless it's for her live stream. Can't go live without some fresh content lined up. Gotta respect the grind. I don't know apology video coming soon. <laughs> I would not be surprised. I don't know. Do you play the ukulele? <laughs> okay. Well, we got we got a magnemite. There we go. We'll, we'll train up this little guy. I don't know if Magnet Pole is the one I want for it. It's got the partner mark. Iono's Magnemite. Oh, okay. So it just straight up says. I mean, that that's kind of cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll train that up. I'll, I'll have to train up Larry's the Dunsparce then. Because like, Lar Larry has entrusted us with this. I don't have any more room here because like Tinkerton's going to be there and then... I'm getting like the apple Pokemon there eventually. I'll just I'll just slap it in Gen 2. It's close enough. Gen 2 is is pulling some is doing some pulling some weight from other Pokemon. <laughs> that aren't quite Gen 2, but kinda of fit. We got we gotta train Larry's Dunsparce. That's just important. Okay, uh, let's hop out and we'll see what we can actually shiny up then. Level 100 Larry Mon. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll make his to Dunsparce the most powerful Pokemon like I've got. Okay. Oh, there's a Sniffy outbreak. That could be fun. The Saws book. There's gonna be a, there's, gonna, there's gonna be a lot of Deli Bird. I, I need something other than Deli Bird. Snivy, Snivy's like the the top contender at the moment. There's Ghastly. So so many Deli Bird. So many there there ever is. Cyclist there. That could be an interesting one. It's Oink alone, but he's no the chunk. There's Ghastly. It's two deli birds, but really close together. Oh, there's Hoot Hoot. I, I actually wouldn't mind a, a shiny Noctowl. As Riolu as well. I actually have a shiny Lucario now because they gave that one out in the event. I think it's between Hoot Hoot or uh, Snivy. Snivy like Snake Ivy. Close enough. You want Hoot Hoot friend or, or Snivy? Get the spinner rack. No, I think I'm good. We want the hoot. I think it might be hoot. -hoot. There's way more excitement for hoot. -hoot. Okay, well, we'll start here and we'll just see how we get on. So I'm going to be basically be killing the wave. Uh, and then we can do Snivy afterwards. We'll start here. Billy, it's time to sandwich for a shiny, genuine Sinistee. It'll only take you forever. <laughs> I kind of want to try that at some point, though. It's like horrific as that sounds. I, I love a good shiny on. Oh, it's so handy just being able to fly on up this now as well. Assuming it's on this little ledge here. Okay, you found them. They're on, they're on their way. It's faster to go with Arson. 
Oh god, wait. I've done it again, hang on. Just so the, uh, the game does not pull up like my internet, like home internet router. Let's, uh, let's hide that ammo. Okay, we're good. Let's go, we can go meet Dan for Christmas. Holy shit, there's so many of them. Go get him. I mean, ours is just gonna be, like, working away on these. Very Doxmas. It's not a very holly jolly time, I'll be honest with you. I think who is like, it's kind of like a different shade of brown, I think. I know Shiny Noctowl is like, because like Ash had that in the anime. Let's see what we can get here though. We get, we get some hood fetters to like put away too. God, there's so many of them. Oh my God, they just keep spawning here. <laughs> Look at the amount of these guys. Iris is just gonna start slapping them. Who was my little brother's first shiny? That's a cool one to get, honestly. Yeah, I've taken the shiny out and just by like beating them down from in the outbreaks. Uh, mostly because I, I I need so many materials for item crafting. That I I also realized I, I didn't have a lot of materials in general, even for like just TMs and shit. I don't think I've even gotten all the TMs because I, I I didn't really battle anyone in the region, and some of them I know are locked behind like just you have to battle all the trainers in like this sector. So I, I've been trying to make an effort. It's like if I see a trainer, just fight the trainer. Hey Christmas Dan, I hope you have a wonderful holiday with your loved ones. Thank you very much. Very kind of you. First shiny was Ponyta, I didn't even know they existed, so I was ins insanely excited. That's a cool one. I can't remember exactly what my first one was. Uh, shiny Haxorus was a notable one, though. I had that in Pokemon Black and White. Loved them. Aw, uh, JF, thank you for the thousand bits. Merry Christmas, RT. Hope you're having a lovely day. I just want to say thank you so much for making this incredible content. Can't wait to see what you do in 2024. We have a lovely break. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Likewise to you. Have a very Merry Christmas. Thank you as ever for the support. I've had a lot of luck with shinies through the years. I had a, I had a shiny Crobat for X and Y. Got one in like the, an early like horde battle like towards the start of the game. He just showed up. It was like, oh, he's like green. That was cool. I, I can't get over how fast these guys spawn. Does someone want to keep track when we're at like 60 of them? So I can like maybe try cycle some. I don't think I even need a sandwich for the waves because like they, they, there's so many of them. Try for a shiny guard chomp. Uh, I mean, we're just kind of going off on what we see waves for. We'll probably try Snivy. It'll be 10 after the notification. Is that is that how it keeps track of them, is it? Didn't actually know that. Okay, so we, we only need to go a few more of them. Probably. Beat him up. Sammy Angry around a bit. Does anyone remember that time Ash made it to the semi finals in the Gen 4 anime? Only to lose to a guy who had a Darkrai and Latios. 
It's actually bullshit how the riders screwed over Ash. Yeah, he's, he's come like second in like most of the arcs. Bar like, I think like the final one. Haven't really kept up with the Pokemon anime for the years. I only really remember like the original ones. Talk about his Greninja lost to a Charizard. That's just, that's just disappointing. What's going on there, Ash? I can't get over just how many of these are spawning in like such a small space. Okay, there's not many left from the original outbreak. So that is that the notification? Have I killed like 50 of them? Do I need to kill like what 10 more? Beat, beat a few more of them up. You've killed over 60 now. Okay, alright, we should, we should probably stop then. Okay. So, let's see. I can just reset them by doing this now. Spin. Let's just cycle them a bit and see if he shows up. Very kind of the game to t so tightly condense so many hoo hoots into one area. There's nothing there, so let's just walk away. Dan just really hates birds, the deli birds in this. They gotta go. Put that can down, man. You've had enough. Uh, Uncle, thank you for a thousand bits. Hey, Chris is RT. Have a lovely day and fun time committing the genocide in Pokemon today. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh, God. It's just another shiny hunt. Add to the record the hoo hoo's extinction. I I don't think the hoo the hoo hoo's are gonna suffer nearly as much as the Wooloo population. Did. I think that was like the extreme end. I don't think we'll ever be doing something quite of that scale again. Send of the picnic resets them all. Yeah, you can just walk away though. Just take some more for them all to kind of like blip into existence. Okay, give us some more than that. Keep checking. Let me know if you spot one, okay? Tiny Minion is a pain in the ass as the shiny is hidden behind its shell and has explosion. Oh god, I didn't realize that explosion as well. I knew about the shell. I didn't realize it was that bad. At least you can like kind of work it out because your Pokemon won't auto battle. A shiny. I tested that on like the shiny Deli Birds for the first time. Because like, once I got like my fifth Deli Bird, I was like, okay. We might as well run some experiments at this point. The auto bow does not let you kill a shiny. You have to either save or have the damp abilities. I, I imagine you just want to have damp. Don't take any chances there.
Really wish they didn't get rid of the noise and animation when the shiny appears. Yeah, me, me too. I, I love that. I know it's a bit more of a hunt without that, but that was such like a nice quality of life. I'm kind of sad like they just got rid of it. Like, you know, I, I'd always be of the opinion where it's like, you can at least just make it a toggle, you know? Even in terms of accessibility, like, that's actually a really good feature. It, it, it's particularly notable for some small Pokemon, too. Like, if you're trying to get, like, a, a Flabebe or something, that Pokemon's, like, fucking tiny. You know, you're not, you're not even going to be able to see it. So, like, with the sound, without the sound effect, it's pretty much impossible to spot. Tandem out. So Tandem out is like a very slightly different shade of white. Some of, some of them are so mean. The only world I could see where like if they got rid of the shiny sparkle sound effect makes sense is make more visually distinct shinies, you know? <laughs> Gonna have like an Espeon or something. It's like, well that's green and not pink. But you know, it stands out pretty well. With like slightly different tone, it's just really tricky. Bring back purple Gengar. I think Gengar is one that they changed a bit uh, through generations. Yeah, when they jumped the 3D models, a lot of Pokemon just suffered and never recovered. Shout out to poor Archeops who just looks stupid. It looks kind of mighty in Gen 5. Let's see, Bird Gang. A lot of birds. Typhlosion never recovered from 3D sickness. Well, they, they've kind of improved Typhlosion like a little bit since. Uh, like with Legends Arceus. It's not as bad as it was. It's a shiny probability for you right now. I mean, it, it's, it'd be pretty high because I've done the, the outbreak. Don't really see the need for a sandwich here. One that I wouldn't mind shiny on with the sandwich is maybe like Vulpix or something. I want I want a shiny like Alolan Ninetales. Hard to the spot. They're finally letting Pokemon that fly land. Yeah, because they all got messed up because of like the sky battles in Pokemon X and Y. They had to make it so it's like, hey, if it's a sky battle, your Pokemon's like airborne. So they, they they ruined like so many Pokemon with their animations. For like this very niche style of battle. And like they're only finally now, like three generations later, trying to rectify that. I actually think it's bits. I strongly recommend looking at uh, Battle Revolution slash Colosseum era. 3D models. Yeah, some of them had some really, really unique stuff. I remember that. I played a lot of Battle Revolution on Wii. There's some, there's some really cool model work then. Weird, because I would argue that the models even in that game on Wii still look better than some of the models we've got. And it's been like how many years? Like 15? We one was very pretty. Out of the way, Hoots. It is like just more brown, isn't it? I think that's what Hoots' difference is.
more like a yellow. Okay. So it, it should be noticeable next to these guys. I'm gonna need to actually pop on a light. <laughs> Hang on. There we go. Could help me spot it. Merry Christmas. It's dark at 2 p.m. now. <laughs> Kind of gold, and yeah, I, I, I like Noctowl a lot. I'm happy getting the shiny of him. I'll see him with some of the best move animations. They, they did a lot more unique stuff, just in general animation quality, than like the console Pokemon games. It kind of made sense thing. It's like, hey, you know, the the point is you're going from the handheld to the home console. I was led as bobbing so hard that I don't understand. Just hanging off with your life. Days are getting longer. Yeah, we're, we're in the, the big stretch. I think it's called. The days get longer each day now. Get like a minute more of sunlight. The one that fell off the cliff. I mean, he's probably gone now. Let's keep resetting. I have a friend who lives in Norway, and like, she only gets like four hours of light a day, I think, at this time of year. Like, it's, it's pretty grim. It's pretty grim. <laughs> at least we get a bit more than that. We're not as bad. Shout out to uh, Vitamin D Deficiency Gang. <laughs> also known as you live in Northern Europe. It's worse when you do night shift. I imagine it's a bit more intense, yeah. Check that out while we're here. Hello, friendly sea dots. Get in the bag. Eat potatoes, that's rich in vitamin D. <laughs> Irish man got problem, potato! Careful now. Don't go out anyway, might as well move to Scandinavia. I mean, if you're gonna be inside anyway, it's like, sure, why not? Just go for it. Oh god. I would love to get to that part of the world. Like, I think I was talking about the other streams. I've never been to, like, Denmark and stuff. I'd love to go to, like, the Lego house. It just sounds really fun. Oh, that's just straight up a knockout. It's not quite it. Are you? No, you're just a hoot. You're just a hoot! It's horrible here. <laughs> Says salty Scandinavian. <laughs> oh no. Don't visit, I hate it here. Username, I hate this country. Oh God. No snow Christmas here in Canada. Yeah, we don't, we don't really get, um, really get that much snow in Ireland. Like, if you further out west, you get a fair bit. We have a bit of, like, a warm ocean current that kind of keeps us wonderfully mild all year all, all year long. 
Uh, so, uh, like, uh, there's just not that much of it. Get a bit of snow some years. Sometimes, like, a weird freak snowstorm. It would in March a few years ago, which is just wild. What's going on there? I haven't seen a snowstorm in my area in a long time. Let's beat them up as well. Let's get some parts. Put some bits away. Where is this hoot hoot? It snowed in Halloween, but it hasn't snowed since. I th th think we're in that era of uh, the world at large where it's like, huh, it's snowing in June today. Guess that's just a thing now. I'm like frantically scrambling and trying to put things together and make sense of it all. Droom, thank you for the thousand bits. Christmas just want to let you know how much I've really enjoyed watching your streams. Well, entertaining, great background noise is um, a crocheting a blanket. I also had to go to midnight mass last night with my grandma. I'm not religious, so it felt like a weird kind of cultish dream. Yeah, that's still very sweet of you to go with her, you know. Hope it went well. Happy Christmas to you as well. Where is this guy? He's giving us some trouble. I I, I could have found like four deli birds in the time it's taken here. Hello there, sir. Brought up Catholic like when I went to Midnight Mass. Kind of wish I did. Ah, uh, I mean I'm like I mean I'm just, I'm technically Catholic. though. We, we've talked about this. I'm not the most religious person, but you know, more power to you if you are. It's each their own kind of thing, you know? Where the fuck are you? Catholic-ish. I mean, I like to describe it that I'm just Irish. That's how, that's, how, that's how they get most people in the church. It's like, oh, you're born in this country. Guess what's happening. I think, gonna, I think that's gonna change, though, like a generation or two, you know? Merry Christmas, remember to cause chaos. Merry Christmas. Set your PC on fire. Just, just do it. Mickey D personally welcomes you into the church. Well, Mass would be a lot more exciting now with Mickey D at the helm, let me tell you. The man is wonderful. If you've never seen the President of Ireland, uh, it's Michael D. Higgins. Uh, it's President in the sense of like, kind of it's more like kind of an appointed role. Kind of like a culture ambassador, less so he calls all the shots. Uh, but if you look him up, you'll see many a picture of this small old man who could potentially be your granddad and his Giant dogs. Got giant dogs. Got many of them. And it's very funny. It's like a king then. No, it's not that. It's like kind of culture ambassador. He does, I mean, he does have power, but like, it's, it's different. Not really like a monarch. <laughs> you don't want to suggest that in Ireland. <laughs> the 
His power is cultural. And you know, I have like a Civ 6, you'll get something like, hey, it's a great artist, a writer. They'll like make a bit of a scene and impact. It's like, oh my god. Society has changed. Basically, Mickey D. Ah, he's wonderful though. RT, when will you be T-Shuck? You know, we, we, we need a game a gamer T-Shuck here. T-Shuck is our way of saying Prime Minister in Ireland, by the way. It's time for the gamer T-Shuck. I'll be, I'll be get, uh, uh, That's my plan for 2024. I'm gonna start canvassing. I'm gonna live stream my plans. With silly and engaging commentary as I decide how much you're gonna get in your pension. IT for BM Jacksepticeye is secretary. Let's go. Irish lads in office. Get the gang together. Loudest secretary ever, ever. Oh God, who who does not want to show? That's okay though, we're just chilling. We are cycling the spawns, he can appear by doing this. Uh, it can just... It can just take a while. He's out there though. I don't know, what are the odds again? We're just outbreak method, no sandwich. On shiny charm. Any odds for Deli Bird are way higher. I mean, they might be. It's one in 600 or so. Not terrible odds. I like Max Outbreak. Could maybe consider making a sandwich soon. Just rather not. Try to save the herbs. We can try look for Vulpix too. Um, I, I I don't know what one I have to make for Vulpix is the only thing. I think like maybe Fairy. No, no, because um, because Vulpix is just ice. I think only Nine Tails is ice fairy. I don't know if you can even find Nine Tails in the wild. We decide the theme for games next year on your channel. Uh, it's not always something I just like to decide at the start of the year. It's like, that's what we're going to do. It's kind of like something that you, I feel out over time. I don't know if there will be one next year. There definitely have been years, though, where there very much is, like, a bit of a, a, bit of a theme that kind of emerges. Like, 2018 was variety. Uh, you know, 2022 was everyone's favorite games. This year has been hard games. I'm trying to play a bunch of challenge and shit. Beginning of this year was ass. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I even saw it in like some of the comments for the best of. There was a lot of people like, "Oh God, I can't." I remember all the YouTube stuff now. That was this year. It would have been right about now that it was all kicking off. I am happy to report that there doesn't seem to have been any issues with the best of for this year. And literally none of the videos that I uploaded this year got flagged either. So there, there, there should hopefully be no trouble. Touch wood. Touch wood. Let's keep it that way. Hello, Munchlax. You've got some rare parts. Let's 
Social games, you want to have to play fr with friends a lot. No, uh, like, d dude, you, the, you, you, you're jumping the gun. You got, you got to, we feel it out. Oh, here's an idea for the theme, and to just, here's your entire year of content. No, no, we, we feel it out. Dude, I have ideas for what I want to do. I have a lot of different stuff I want to do next year. Many projects that I've been working on that I'm hoping to show. For long. Uh, but you gotta wait and see. You know, and like, and I, I just wanna, I'm only really gonna show or announce anything when it's ready. We potentially skipped a shiny of this, by the way. I just realized that in retrospect. We might have glanced over I remember seeing one that was a bit more white. I think we might have missed a shiny one. <laughs> That was paying attention. The year of Luigi games. <laughs> yeah, next year. And the RT Game YouTube channel is the year of Luigi. <laughs> the pinnacle in like Luigi based content is coming to the channel. Let's go. Coincidentally, the least financially successful year Nintendo has ever had was the year of Luigi. But it was a clusterfuck. Like it was an absolute disaster for him. <laughs> Everything's just gonna crash and burn next year. So, like, year of Luigi, let's go. Oh, God. Luigi will never have a year again. Under no circumstances. Uh. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for next year in Contra, though. There, there is a lot of new stuff I want to do. I don't even know what games are coming out next year as well, to be honest with you. I mean, we, I know about Turnip Boy. I feel like so much just released. That it's kind of just up in the air. It's like, what actually releases next year? So much shit just came out this year. We might have a new Fable game next year. That's one I'm actually genuinely excited for. Uh, I, I want to see what they do with it. Because you know, that's a property that's been, like, uh, sleeping for, like... 14 years? Fable 3 was 2010. Persona 3 Reload, if you enjoy Persona 5. No, I, I'm strictly not playing Persona 3. Persona 5 was a once-off. Uh, we're not playing more Persona games. That, that, that's it. We, we, we did, we, is a one and done. Same with Ace Attorney. I know that has a trilogy. I'm just not interested. I've heard real mixed things about the Apollo trilogy. Anyway, and I, I, like, from cheekily looking up a bit or two, I actually don't think I like it. So I'm just, I'm just done. We've had our fill of Ace Attorney, we've done Persona. Hype for the Final Fantasy VII Remake in February? Yeah, that's gonna be insane. If you missed like the first part of the remake, like that is a seriously good game. Hugely recommend you give it a go. There's just so much content. Like, the stuff they did with, like, the sound design, how they mixed all the gameplay. It's such a satisfying, like, just fun game to play. Thought you'd enjoy the Grace Ace Attorney, but instead you're just not interested. Yeah, I'm just not interested. I, 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 like, I, I'm happy with the Ace Attorney games I played. Like, that's me done. I, I, I really just don't want to go back to it. 
It's like this fun, wild, unsatisfying conclusion. That is like five, seven other games or something ridiculous. Just not interested. Missing out, it's written really well. I... Fine. Uh, I, I, I don't personally care. I've had my fill. There's just so much other stuff that I want to play. The uh, uh, that's some power that comes down to like I I I'm not really interested in like five more games of that kind. The year of edgy games when can't wait for Shadow the Hedgehog. Hey, wait, where's the year like the year of drama? <laughs> Just terrible games. The year, a year of bad games. <laughs> I think that'd be horrendous. <laughs> An entire year, like not like just a once-off. Like this is a real stinker. It's like every game we play. It's like enjoy this next like next weekend. Well, I've got another shit show. I've had another real stinker. <laughs> Another awful game is coming your way. That would just be demoralizing. <laughs> like you wouldn't look forward to anything for a year. This game is terrible. Wait till you see what we play next. Did you ever consider playing Skylanders? Ah, uh, no. No, I'm good. I, uh, I have enough, uh, plastic toys in my life in the form of Amiibo. I, I do not want more. It is just hard to no. know. I'm just not interested. It's weird, though. People, it's like, a lot of people keep asking about that one. I don't understand why. That one keeps coming up. Like he's gotta play Skylanders. I mean, that's technically like a Spyro game as well, I think. I've never played Spyro. A year of non existence. Capitalism, Dad. The figures must be collected. Uh, I, 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 I am, I am quite looking forward to finally getting the Sora amiibo next year, and then I'm done. I'm done with amiibo. Uh, I will have them all, unless they suddenly announce like Smash Ultimate Two or something like that's it. I'll actually have them all. Yeah, you know what? I think we might crack open a sandwich and move location. The hoo-hoos, the hoo do not want to cooperate. We're gonna kill a few more until the outbreak wears out. It's your last chance, hoo -hoos. Your number will suffer unless the shiny is revealed. They're starting to panic now. The numbers are dwindling. Did you ever complete Farewell in Celeste? Ah, uh, no. Uh, I have to get back to it at some point. I, I have a lot of games like that. There's just a lot of other games coming out that like kind of just grab my attention. It's like you know I want to spend more. T I want to spend time in that more. You know, there's so much to play. You haven't played Octopath 2, I assume. Yeah, I, I haven't. Oh. Off time games in shambles. Uh, I have not played that. Haven't finished my Xenoblade playthrough. <laughs> One of these days. One of these days. I purchased Baldur's Gate. I think I might have installed it. 
I, I definitely have not played it. I, I have like so much to play in my off time. One of these days. Okay, yeah, let's, let's, let's change location. Um, let me see what we could hunt. So, the Volpix one is an option. I'm trying to see if there's anything else I'm actually looking for. Um... Anything that's strictly a shiny. Wow, I think Vulpix actually might be the last one that's like in a shiny form I'm really after. I have like a I have like a little fun project on my phone where like I've been like trying to get like some of my favorite Pokemon like all together. That's what you saw in my boxes earlier where like I've got them all gathered. I'll just, just show you again. It's kind of just a collection of hey, here's a lot of Pokemon that I use like through generations and stuff like that that I really love. The Dunsparce I don't really use, but I'm going to raise up just because it's Larry's. Like, I want to get a Vaporeon at some point, but I don't want a shiny Vaporeon. I think I think regular Vaporeon looks cooler. Espeon I want to get, but again, not a shiny. I, I kind of like that one pink. I wouldn't mind a Star Raptor, but I feel like I have a Star Raptor in Legends Arceus. That I could just trade over. I wanted to get a Magnezone, so th th this one's perfect for my Ono. I wanted to get an Electros at some point. Uh, I wanted to get a Hydrapple, but regular. So yeah, we'll, we'll go. We'll go hunting for a load of Nine Tails. Oh Jesus! Red and colors. Thank you for the five thousand bits. Hey, Christmas RT, I'm Jewish and I'll celebrate, but hoping you have a fun one and a great 2024. Oh, thank you very much. It's very kind of you. I mean, a very happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah, I imagine, this time of year. Hope you're still having a good one. It's tradition, isn't it? Uh, well, like, kind of like a custom, like a Chinese takeout, isn't it? That's one I've heard of. Hanukkah ended already, but thanks. A belated happy Hanukkah. That is one I've heard. It's kind of like a little custom. In America, yes, but I'm not Ameri American. No, you're all good. No worries. Happy holidays, nonetheless. And just a good old time of year. As a boy, thank you for a thousand bits as well. Merry Christmas, RT. Currently recovering from top surgery. Your bug snack streams actually helped me figure out my gender identity. Thanks for creating such great content and fostering a supportive community. Hope you have a nice break. I'm looking forward to what you have in store. I'll get some good rest in. Happy holidays to you. Yeah, let's get some rest. Uh, that kind of stuff is very taxing. <laughs> get, get some good downtime, get some good games in. Oh, just give me one second, spot. it's a bit warm. Felt like a Christmas sweater on. <laughs> Didn't you go on a tangent about bug snacks being a metaphor for the Bible? <laughs> I was, I was, uh, I believe the quote was like, it's like the Bible, but this time Jesus is a pair of lesbians. <laughs> I think that's how I described uh, bug snacks. Yeah, what a game. It's very surreal. That was very fun to play. I think it's this general area for Ninetales. Let me see if Ninetales can appear in the wild. Because if Ninetales can appear, then I can use like a fairy type sandwich. Rather than just a regular ice type sandwich. Post these on my socials. Yeah, so here is Vulpix. But we, we want to see if Ninetales is maybe available. 
Should be in this Pokedex. Let me see... Where is it? Okay, is Ninetales available? No, Nine Ninetales is not available. Okay. Only Vulpix is. Okay. See, that, that's really unfortunate just because, like, you can see here, it's pure ice. And there's just so many ice-type Pokemon. I, I can't just even look at this. Look at this, like, clusterfuck of Pokemon. <laughs> Holy shit, why are there so many of you here? Why are you all here? I just get slapping them away. There's a cave where only they can spawn. Is there? It might be worth checking it. I'm <laughs> showing up for Christmas dinner. Why is there so many just right here? Like, there's just more shit running up the hill, too. There's a cave where it, only it, Snubble, and Torchic spawn. Oh, you, you don't have a map or something, do you? This might be a job for the Discord professors. If it's a cave where it's only Volt Picks, that would be really handy. Bro just ruined their Christmas party. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. Uh, live stream chat on the Discord, live stream lab. Any, any, uh, Christmas time Discord professors? We're looking for a cave. I need a screenshot of the cave if there is one. Ideally. I are just covered in snow. I, I, I love, like, the texture effects and stuff. Scarlet and Violet might be a PS2 game, but like the some of the Pokemon models are actually really good. You can tell that's where they like focus their development time on, compared to everything else. Thank you, Mr. Disco. Okay, we we have a Discord professor. So it's a cave with Torchic. Uh, it is. Let's see. It's gonna be kind of hard to spot, but it should be about here. My main, main problem with the map is the cubes move with it, so it's useless for working out what quadrant. You're supposed to be in. I really wish they'd fix that. It's so annoying. So there's a cave on this mountainside. Maybe? There's, there's, I mean, there's like so many layers here. Maybe this cave? I think it might be. Okay, yeah, th th this looks about right. Matang is just hanging out. Uh, we should probably- we should probably just clear him out of here. Cause he's just gonna be taking up space. Clear him on out of here. How many spawns do you get in the cave? Getting this full picks. I it's not gonna be many, is it? Let's see what we can do. We can actually get quite a lot. Okay, well we'll try it out. 
get an ice sandwich and just auto battle everything. Yeah, no, I mean that's probably the strat for it. Okay, let's uh let's hop outside and like get our our picnics together. Pokeport, no. Not that one. Picnic. Picnic, please. <laughs> A picnic, please. What a game. <laughs> what a game. Oh, you just walk down this hill. You can set up one inside the cave. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, of all the games, this is certainly one of them. Okay, I think I need to turn off autosave as well if we're uh, doing sandwich stuff. Because that way then, if we mess it up, we're fine. If we don't find one. Okay, let me get the handy sandwich chart. Uh, scarlet Violet. Sandwich chart, shiny. Still very weird that sandwiches and just making them are such a central part of the gameplay experience for this. Make a sandwich. Okay, I need a cucumber and a pickle. I need to get more cucumber soon. Okay, just don't use two sour herbs. And for ice, it's cloth sticks. We had, we, had, we had friends around um, in Dublin uh, the other night for a little Christmas get-together, and like they had not experienced the sandwich minigame. And like, so like, we were just like, hey, you should just try this and play it. We were just playing Pokemon like at some point in the night. And like they lost their shit laughing at how embarrassing it is that this is in like a full game. This is like an outside perspective of like how Pokemon is uh, holding up. <laughs> they lost their shit because they thought it was so stupid. It was very funny. Live Dublin reaction. <laughs> I, I need to get some more Herba Mystica in, in general. I have those extra sweet ones. I'll, I'll use a sweet and bitter. I just can't use too sour, I think. What's the best way to farm Herba Mystica again, chat? I only recently found out apparently only certain terror raids drop Herba Mystica, and everything else just doesn't even have a chance to. I know it's raids. I know it's raids, but it's like specific Pokemon, apparently. I can't see the fucking sandwich. Why is it so bright? <laughs> Why? I can't see the ingredients. <laughs> Why does it do this? Why are you like this game? It, it like, th honestly, like, this is one of my favorite games just ever now. And it's like, in mixed parts, like, fun gameplay loop of Pokemon. But it's such a fucking broken mess. <laughs> like, this game is just entertaining. In, like, the wrong ways for me. In so uh, uh, at some points. I love it. I love it. can't even see the fucking sandwich. It's radioactive. Don't bother with the bread. Uh, just... Just pack that away. God almighty. The flashbang sandwich. It's only a little better, though. It's 
only a little better. Oh, God. That's what it's supposed to look like. Ah. <laughs> it's just blue. Okay, yeah, sparkled title and encounter power. Pack up and go. Okay, so I just gotta go in and out of the cave, I'm assuming now. Uh, do I even need to kill the Pokemon? I, I, I think I'm better off just running in and out. If I run in and out, will they like despawn? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure how far it is that I need to go. Like, there's three. No killing needed. Has that despawned? What is like the despawn threshold? Okay, apparently it was that. You can actually get the little clusters of them. Yeah, so this actually isn't as bad as it seems. The shiny effect for this one is it should be like kind of like... Like a little kind of purple, almost, and like its eye is different. Oh god. It's a very subtle shiny, but it is one I want. Oh, hello there. We should probably have a quick glance whenever we hop outside too, because there actually are quite a number of spawns there. You you got you got to get out of the cave entrance, friend. I like some subtle shinies where it is just like a little difference. And not too radical of a change. Cause I, I like some of the like the original Pokemon's like their color palette. So this is just kinda like a nice complimentary thing almost, you know. Like I really like how um Alolan Ninetales looks. Real shiny was the subs you gained along the way. Sea Dog dropped in, subbed, and then left. Oh, it was Connor here! Jesus. Ah, he was. Hope he's well. He just poked his head in. I know it's like the later day for him. He's a ninja. <laughs> Oh, God. The sandwich was shiny. I don't think the sandwich itself is shiny now. Hang on. Is that how it works when like, you put together the shiny sandwich? Like, my God! A closer inspection of the cucumbers! <laughs> They're orange! Uh, that's my new head cannon for how it works. Orange cucumber sound horrendous. Apparently, like the fun like uh, veg fact for carrots is like they were originally like in multiple colors, and then they were just dyed orange, and that became the more popular kind of carrot. You get like purple carrots and stuff like that, but they just weren't as popular. Which is kind of funny. Because uh, I, cause I wonder what other foods are like that where it's like, everyone hates it. But if it was like just blue or some shit, people would be like, oh fuck yeah. <laughs> like, let's go. 
Yeah, you can still get them. You can still get them, but they're not like the more like you know, it's the orange carrot you see everywhere still. Like most places you go. Like the Dutch royal family for the orange carrot. Bananas used to have big seeds. The bananas are kind of reaching, unfortunately, a critical mass point where it's like, uh, there's not enough biodiversity, so they're kind of suffering. Lots of uh, awful, like, kind of crop failures and stuff like that because there's just not enough variety. Uh, from the little that I understand there. Potatoes can be differently colored too. They can, yeah. Hello, small family. Merry Christmas. RT, help! My cat is attacking me. Oh shit! I got, I gotta go, guys. Stay there. Stay. I'm, I'm on my way. Gonna beat up that guy's cat. <laughs> oh god. Any Vulpix? I wonder I think I might just be wasting my time by going too far out of the cave. I think by there they've despawned. And when the shadow, like, blips out of existence, that's the cue. So, like, like, like that. You might just do this, because, like, it might just be a bit easier cycling them. So many of you. spawn at the edges of the cave too so why not just because I think the time it takes to check those ones I could have just ran back in already you know I think we just focus on the cave I have to, I have to inspect the small family each time Dan, I'm trying to do a mega Pokemon build, basically makeshift Lego. My hands are aching like hell, and my fingertips are bleeding, but your streams keep me going. Have fun shiny hunting. <laughs> oh god, I, I, that's a rough session with Mega Blocks. My, your, your fingertips are bleeding. <laughs> You, you holding the Lego okay? The Lego Man set we put together um, yesterday was actually like surprisingly difficult in some parts. Still a really fun build, like kind of come to the end, but like torturous for some bits, especially around like the guy's chest. No Lego experience is complete without blood, sweat, and tears. That's the Lego guarantee. They're gonna make like a Lego, like, because they're, they're, they're branching into like Lego for adults sets. They're gonna make what was seriously, you know, like, like, don't let your kids build this one. This will change you as a person. When you put together this Lego set, it is mentally taxing. Like, not for the faint of heart. If you're suffering from any kind of injury, don't attempt to build this one. It's not safe.
Hello, friend. Lego bucket, the most intense build ever conceived. There needs to be, there does need to be a few more Lego sets where it's like you build containers for Lego bricks. Honestly. Just organizing stuff afterwards is always a pain. Wait, is that it? No, it's not. Oh, I thought, I thought it was the light and made that look, one look a bit darker for a moment. Got 20 minutes still on the sandwich. Hello, friends. Hello, gang. Run away in fear. A Lego China cabinet to display all your builds. I think they have like the I IKEA has something that's like kind of like a Lego set, but it's not quite that. It's like a single drawer. It's also like horribly overpriced. I because I remember checking. <laughs> Uh, Mess, thank you for the 500 bits as well. Uh, good luck on the move. Very Merry Christmas to you. Hope all goes well. What's your favorite sandwich? I, I, I've given my Subway sandwich order on this channel before, I believe. I think, I think I've detailed that many a time. Is a foot long. Uh, I try to get like. Ca can't remember what bread I get sometimes. It changes. It changes depending on how I feel. But foot long. It's an Italian uh, BMT. It's like pepperoni, salami, and ham. With sauce from the meatball marinara. That's the important bit. It's the important bit. You gotta get that or it's not good. And toast it. No cheese. With some lettuce and peppers. Gotta get the marinara sauce. It's not the same without that. They don't do it. Get a different sandwich. Just get a different one. Fucker with his cheese taste. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, like Josephine, aka okay, Cake Jumper, had a YouTube highlights go up for a cheese quest. And I just put the comment on for the classic Shea Goris line. It is cheese for everyone. I think she, like, replied to that saying, like, did you just acknowledge, like, liking cheese? Holy shit. Wait, no che cheese for no one. <laughs> No cheese for no one. <laughs> not even Wensleydale, not even Wensleydale. Damn it, I keep, like, because there are spawns out here, I feel like I should check even a few of them. We have to respawn the cave anyway. At least we know when we go in here, it's guaranteed only Vulpix. God, I was hoping to get two of these as well. I want I want to trade one. But this is this is rough going. I'm surprised we haven't seen a single shiny off the sandwich. It's not you, is it? No. Uh, it's it's distinctly a bit more purple. I actually was trying to hunt this the other day and I got a shiny snow over. What are the rates? I, what is the rate with sandwich? I, I I know it's significantly higher. I have like boosted shiny sandwich. And the shiny charm. It's as high as it can be right now.
Guess all the luck ran out. I exhausted all my Pokemon cards this morning. It's a 1 in 300 if you have the sandwich and the charm. That's, that's still really good, yeah. Oh, get out of the way, Bob. I'm gonna have to kill you. I'm sorry, friend. You shall not pass. He's blocked the entrance. Shall not hunt my family no more. <laughs> Look at all, like, they're just watching. God, you can really get a lot of them in the cave. It's not you, is it? They keep trying to block the door. Not there, no. I think not down there. Yeah, we're gonna give out that steam codes for that game. Yes, I am at uh, the Lotto Knots keys. Yeah, apologies. Like, I, I've had like scuffed stream setups and shit like that, but I will. I, I have some that the charity has given me to give out. I'll figure out something for giving them out. Like, in, in, probably in the new year, it might just be easiest at this point. We'll, we'll be doing more like well and dolphin conservation streams. Like, no question, you know. They are a wonderful organization. Very happy to be supporting them. This is the location where uh, Clover got her 20 plus shiny milsery. Yeah, geez, the Clover had a field day because she was trying to get like one of every uh, Alcremi. So nice of you to want to protect the Welsh. After the Wulu massacre, I thought we'd give back to the Welsh people. <laughs> and save the whales. God. Let's just the cave a bit. Come on, you know you want to spawn. It's really not that noticeable, so it's gonna be hard to spot. At the very least, the game the game is generous with the Vulpix family spawn in here. My biggest fear is that one has already spawned and I haven't seen it. Hoping that we when we eventually get one, it's kind of like clear. It's like look at all these guys like hanging down here. Like this is this is my fear. There's so many of them. You gotta wait till they stick their little tail up and then you gotta inspect like the the light blue bit. None of you. Poor Welsh have been without sweaters ever since. <laughs> We lost the wool supply. It's all gone. The Irish bad has come for us. He wants the wool. Ireland is better than Wales. That's not very nice. Hang on now. Real talk. Be careful now. Sorry. It's okay. We'll forgive you. 
Very polite of you to just immediately apologize. <laughs> like, oh shit, now hang on now. It's not him. It's not him. How are we doing on the on our sandwich uh, timer? It's been 20 minutes of hunting. I I am shocked. It has not appeared again. This one seems really hard to find. It's only a very slight one too, but like it is actually one that I do I would like. It's a very subtle shiny. But I think it looks kind of cool. Its eye is kind of like more purple and blue. It's got a bit of a galaxy vibe to it. It's not them. It's noticeably a bit purple and red. The subtle shinies drive me mad. Very least in the cave, it's a bit easier to see him. Out here is where it's rough. The light more than anything can kind of adjust them. Got like a chandelier in the ceiling for the cave though. At least the music is chill. Yeah, it is. Chill? Oh, oh! I see what you did there. Comedy mastermind. This would be way harder without, without the cave, I, I reckon. Because you just gotta filter through even more shinies without that. If I get another shiny snow over, I might just reset it, because I'm not even really after that one. Don't think I want to keep a second one of them. Vulpix family. Vulpix family. Additional stray Vulpix. You play Hurlin or Gaelic? It's bold of you to uh, assume I'm playing one of those. It's gotta be one. Hurlin is like a really violent sport. I, I can't believe like that's a thing that they just have kids play here. You can seriously knock someone's eye out with that slitter. Gaelic, fo uh, Gaelic, Gaelic football is also dangerous. Not as bad as Hurling though. Not as bad as Hurling. Like, Hurlin, you've got, like, sticks already. Hurlin, if you don't know, basically, imagine hockey, but instead of a puck, it's a small, hard ball, and you routinely hit that up off the ground and into the air. Like, un unbelievably dangerous. At least in hockey and that, for the most part, you're keeping it low. And you've got, like, severe, like, kind of padded and basically body armor when you're playing it. Uh, Hurling, you have a helmet. And that's it. But it can really mess you up. Any Vulpix? Any Vulpix in chat? 
I feel like it's similar to a game some schools have banned called Bulldog. I'm not I'm not familiar with Bulldog. Uh, but Hurlin is very popular in uh, Irish schools. You know, you'll have a lot of kids like playing it. Like, <laughs> you you could genuinely lose an eye to it. You gotta you gotta be careful. Red Rover, I I don't know what that is. A lot of one-eyed kids. <laughs> What's going on in Ireland? Everyone's got an eye patch now. Where is this dude? I've never heard of Red Rover. No, no, I haven't. What is it? You clothesline someone who runs at you. Is clothesline when like you stick out your arm and like their head kind of runs into it and it's like, Ugh! and you like fall to the ground? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that sounds pretty painful. Is there? Could it be? No. Unless, no. The bomb snow are getting restless. God, it's been close to half an hour. We still haven't found, we haven't found one shiny today. I'm gonna be devastated if like first Deli Bird outbreak I go to, it's like immediately like, you found me. It's like the tenth shiny. Picnic table was pretty shiny. It was. It was. That should that should have boosted the odds. We had the shiny table. Look at the uh, bomb in the snow. If I get a shiny crabominal before anything, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just be gonna be very sad. Poor guy never had a chance at life. Like, ice fighting and he's slow. Trick room king. Nah, nah, he's just kind of terrible. Never had a chance. Hello, Volpix Gang. He's doing his best. Where the fuck is he? Quite a few families here. You, you can't spot this one that far away. So you really have to like zoom up to him and just inspect. Remember when Game Freak was that? It's like Krabal would be the next VGC monster when it killed a Mega Kangaskhan in its reveal trailer. <laughs> Yeah, in retrospect, like, Mega Kangaskhan could just annihilate him. You just, like, power up punch. And it's like the old 1-2. Be auto and all these out of paranoia of missing it. The thing is, it's not been any of these. It really hasn't. You can see it, they're all the same.
Get the family. I just want a little Vulpix friend. They keep blocking the entrance. Some people calculate it and it's still not a one shot. So what you're telling me is like that Kangaskhan had like zero defense, like IVs and effort values. Kind of just like make look, make Crabrawler look better than it was. So we are desperate to sell merch of this Pokemon. Uh, that's just a snubble. Oh no, does that, wait, does that mean? Oh, it's gone. God almighty, we went the whole sandwich. I am shocked we have not found anything. What exactly does shiny Vulpix look like? It's got like purple eyes. Uh, let me let me bring it up again. It's for myself. I'll, 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 I'll pop I'll pop a link in chat. I can't really do desktop capture today. My setup is just a, a bit jank. Should be that one. See it there? It's a very subtle difference. But it's kind of like the light blue is absent. It's like the main thing you're kind of looking for. And the, the eyes are so pretty. Like That's what that's why I want this one. I, w I want its eyes. <laughs> it's kind of like a, a galaxy aesthetic instead of like blue. That's how it looks to me. Let's make a, let's make another sandwich. The ears seem like a better tell. Yeah, the ears are kind of purple as well. Ears might be a better one. It's a very subtle change, but like, I really like it. We'll give it, we'll give it one more go here. Uh, where's my, where's my cloth? Oh, I'm gonna have to make it with bloom mode on again, aren't I? <laughs> this game... <laughs> it's not as severe, but it's, st it's still pretty bad. gonna put it all on this side of the sandwich. Nice cucumber tower. And some pickle. No, thank you. Put that in the cucumber. Bon appetit. <laughs> uh, some assembly is required. Ah, uh, yes, my usual subway order the blind and body of Christ with crab sticks and cucumber. <laughs> Tasty lettuce original. Yeah, let's uh, let's try this again. 
Keep an eye out, gang. Need everyone to collectively lose their shit if there's a shiny on screen. I feel like I'm being blinded by the light every time I step out of the cavern now, too. Oh, God. Dan, do you want to make some easy Christmas money? <laughs> That sounds like you're about to pitch me like a scam. <laughs> hey, do you want to make like Warcraft gold? Quick and easy. Do you, do you want to instantly make bank? Not accept the offer. <laughs> yeah, I think I think the ears might be a nice hotel. The ears and the eyes. I'm checking. I'm trying to reach you about your vehicle's extended warranty. <laughs> Picks. Excuse me. Oh, no, not you. So I was told about a pyramid scheme while in an Uber, but I was too dumb to understand. Like, honestly, like, anything like that where it's like, hey, you could just make money. It's easy. Like, I, 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 even if it's real, I am simply too scared. Even if there was one where it's like, it's actually real, like, holy shit, you'll just print a gold bar. I, I am too scared. <laughs> what if Mr. Beast came up to you? Oh, oh, no way! Mr. Beast! Like... Nothing's gonna happen, like... Oh, that's how that works. Oh, there's a... There's a collar at my door! Oh, no way! God. Oh, Panic, thank you for the- Oh, thank you for the five tier two gift subs. That is very kind of you. Thank you very much. Holy shit, Mr. Beast is in the chat. Can't wait to see Dan in the new Squid Game. They're still they're still making like a, a TV series of that, aren't they? I thought it was like something that came out at the game show where like, apparently like everyone had a miserable time. They'd be like like uh, more of like a game show version where it's like, hey. Everyone, so everyone kind of hates it. I, I, I think they're still making like a series two of that though. It came out and it's bad. Did the game show release? I, I know about the game show. Are you using the steering wheel for this stream? I am not. 
It was big for like two months. I mean, it was it was a very like, entertaining show when it came out. I remember watching it too. Like hanging out with some friends and call, and it was like it just started playing, like automatically. While it was like we were watching like a different movie. I was like, wait, what's going on? But we were just too intrigued. I was like, okay, let's let's see what's happening here. It's still so wild. They made a game show based off a of Squid Game, given what the show was about. Yeah, and it seems to be like really poor taste too. <laughs> Considering like a lot of themes of the show. <laughs> Bit of a weird one. People are suing. <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, don't worry. I hear Netflix is going to make at least three more live adaptations to financially recover from this, so. Should be okay. Should be okay. Don't don't worry. They have a pretty banger crab game spin-off, though. Crab- I remember Crab Game, yeah, that's so, that's so stupid. It's like the bootleg game version. Sometimes I close my eyes and I still hear Joe Biden. Give us area. It is active, yeah? It is. <laughs> it's kind of funny how, like, being so spoiled with shinies has kind of changed everyone's perception of them now. Like, what do you mean I've gone half an hour and I have not gotten, like, seven of them? Well, the game must be broken, clearly. Oh! I thought they were all shiny for a moment. C game, please. I thought every single one was a shiny there. The game is clearly broken, but that's besides the point. True. That's true. Oh God, actually, yeah. Sh shout out to, there's a guy who's like, I think every single time I've commented on the broken state of the game has left an angry YouTube comment. Shout out to that guy. Special mention. I don't know why he's still watching the Pokemon videos. I I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying them too. But every single time, it's like, oh, misery porn, upload it. I was like, what, what, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Shout out to that guy. Leave the million dollar company alone. I'm still, I'm still playing it. I, I actually, I genuinely do love this game. It's a technical broken mess, but it's still very fun. You know, how I process that technical mess is I just relentlessly make fun of it. Because that's what you have to do. It's either that or it's like, oh, this is kind of sucks. Stop it, Dan. You hurt the company's feelings. What does what does shiny Cabraler look like? Getting desperate. Getting desperate. You can love something while still hating parts of it. Exactly right. I, I think the internet is always a bit weird of that. Like, if you're mildly critical of anything. You hate it! No, no, it's... Just, you know, there's, there's like... So it's just, you know, it's a lovely game. Having a great time, but like, someone just clearly took a shit on the floor here. 
Like, what's going on? You know? <laughs> So I kind of look at it. No, please, God, that's not the shiny crawler, is it? No, it's just the lightning. Oh my God, I was gonna lose my mind. He looked a bit more blue. He he looked a bit more blue. Purple wind shiny. Need to go further out to reset the encounters? No, they're resetting. They are, they are resetting. It's very short. Oh, you're kidding me. Game, why? I already got this one. Oh. It has the purple eyes you wanted. <laughs> like, look, look, I put contacts in. I just know, put it next to a warm piece of toast so it can melt. And let's pick this guy up. Oh. Game loves giving repeat shinies. I got three Mud Break, three Sneasel, and three Heracross. I wasn't looking for any of them. Uh, so like th this Obama snow, right? Just so we're clear, this guy is going to be reset unless Volpix is found. So his life and existence is at stake. He will be snapped. If Shiny Vulpix does not make an appearance soon. He's got he's got 16 minutes. That's the precedent. <laughs> he's got 16 minutes. Come on, shiny Vulpix. The life of another is now at stake. Oh. It's a bit unfortunate. I mean, but that was probably going to happen too, just because the... Bomb and snow are so much more easier to identify. It's way easier to pick out a shiny of them. This this bl fr <laughs> this sudden blizzard is not helping. I don't think so. He's holding a hostage.
Not yourself, is it? What? Well, where is he? We're looking. Can we get some Christmas music, please? I probably should have done that a bit earlier. I mean... It might be a bit late now. It might be a bit late. We've got 14 minutes to find him. A, a, a counterpoint, though. Counter proposition. If I find the shiny Crabominable, I will save the game. Either can appear. But another shiny is required. What if you find another shiny abominus though? That that <laughs> No, it's gotta be different. It's got are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> the game is taunting me! Okay, we're taking another hostage. We're taking a oh god. The game hates you. It's Michelle. Oh. Uh. I'm starting to think you're the hostage in this situation. <laughs> it's also level 69, so the game is absolutely taunting us. There's no way. There's just too many factors here. <laughs> Yeah, we it's it's vault picks or a bust. Please get it in the ball. Yeah, <laughs> another one taken. A second to bomb the snow. God damn it. I already have a shiny snow over as well. I already have a shiny snow over. Gabe is absolutely taunting us. How long have we got? 11 minutes. I'm gonna lose my mind if there's a third one. <laughs> I'm gonna be so upset. Get ready for the crap. <laughs> If the crab appears, then I will save the game. Come on, Vulpix. Where are you? 
surely it'll be Obama. Uh, uh, Obama. Obama Snow. I keep that Obama Snow now. It'll be Obama Snow again. God damn it. Opix family. Crab. Keep going. This is obamable. Gang. Nothing here. It's not you, is it? No, it's not. Get back in the cave. Wasn't that it? No, I don't think I saw any there. I think more people would pick up on it. Tired spot. Could just be lighting. Always auto battle to be safe. The thing is, auto battling like just takes time more than anything. Going to auto battle, arguably that puts Obama at further risk. If anything. No, you're kidding to stop it, game! <laughs> no! Game, why? <laughs> It's one of the kids! <laughs> Why is there so many? I've gotten... I've gotten three! Please, all I want is the vault fix. Make it four. It technically is four now because I have one in storage. I do have one already. God damn it. <laughs> it's so fucking stupid. If I get the crab now, like, the stream just ends. If I get the crab, the stream's over. No vault picks. What if we get a, another Obama? <laughs> We're not gonna. Don't worry, we're not gonna. Cause that's it now. In fact, you're having great shiny luck just in the worst way. <laughs> it's 
unfortunate that Ninetales is just not available. This would be so much easier. It's a cruel monkey's paw wish. this bomb is so hard to see. I mean, we actually have been quite thorough, though. Spawned and impossible to see. You don't worry about that. As far as we we're concerned, it didn't exist. You don't you do not do that to yourself. You be kind to yourself there. Stuff can technically spawn, like, behind you when you're not looking and shit. Like, if it does that, and even if it was shiny, you didn't see it. There's no need to think it was there. That's just like beating yourself up. Shiny crap, though. Still on the hunt. There's no object permeance in this house. Time to decide a Vulpix hunt myself and see if I have better luck. Yeah, let, let me know. Let me know when you have like seven of uh, like like Obama snows. Are we on time? Two minutes thirty. So hard to spot, you have to inspect them. Snow over, stop spawning. Accidentally saying no bam of snow because the joke's been made so many times. <sighs> Up there, is it? In. We have a little bit of time left. Go quick. Then I have to stop and inspect every single one. That's not, no, I don't think that is it. No. Not long left in sandwiches. Quickly go and get some more spawns. Final crabs. What we got? Okay, quickly. <laughs> quickly, back out. I 
think it's now worn off. It's now worn off. God damn it. All we got. Like, look at this. <laughs> we got the entire family. <laughs> Happy family, do not snap them. <laughs> yeah, the two snowers are female too, which is really funny. <laughs> like, it's it, it lined up, like, correctly across the board. We did it. We, we caught all the Obamas. <laughs> Oh, that's so stupid. I can't believe we got three of them. <laughs> Do they have any marks? Let's see. No, impetuous and silly, alert to sounds, likes to relax, and somewhat stubborn. Uh, <laughs> so fucking stupid. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's Christmas. It's Christmas, so you know we're gonna we'll we'll let we'll let him live. <laughs> we got the old Bamas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh God. That's so fucking funny. Okay, I think everything's a bit broken overlay-wise my end. I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, it's working. It's just a bit... It's a bit iffy. There we go. Let me, let me just do that for today. You can see it better. We're gonna leave the stream there. But thank you everyone for coming. Hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to mods that have ever been on hand. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. Happy New Year. Because uh, this is the last stream for a while. Uh, I am officially on break. As of this one. I'll be back sometime in January. I do not know when just yet. But it'll be a little while. If you want stuff to watch from me, the best of RT game is up on the YouTube channel. And, you know, there, there, there's, like, there's really been so much this past year. There's, like, so many supercuts and just so many videos in general. So, yeah, there, there's stuff to watch. The, the the freezer has been full of some frozen pizzas for a while I'm away. It has been great. Thank you, Dan. Hey, no problem. No, thank you for all the support. Seriously, like, like this year, it, it's really meant a lot. Considering the shit show that we started this year with, the fact that we're still here and just doing this is... It's a good feeling. <laughs> He's off to get milk. Yeah, I hope everyone has a happy holidays and a happy new year. Um, we'll, we'll, we will catch up in the new year with some new stuff. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. Is the end screen working? Kind of. <laughs> we, have, we, have uh, we have the old... Uh, 
WWE art, effectively. It's not every day we get to see it. The old end screen. Okay, let me see if anyone else is streaming uh, today. There's not, it's not too many people live. But we'll have a look-see, and we'll see who's going. Um... Okay, Italics is live, but I think he's asleep. <laughs> I think he's doing a subathon, but I think he actually is asleep. His game category is I'm only sleeping. So I'm I'm not gonna leave you in his care, because that's probably just a bit weird. Uh Jenna Bane is streaming. We haven't rated Jenna in a while. I'm gonna leave you in her care. Uh she's playing some Jackbox. That sounds fun. Go wish her well. Go wish her a very happy holidays. But thanks for coming, folks. I'll see you all in... Tr I'll see you all next year. Ha <laughs> ha! I get to make that joke now. And take care, gang. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. Have a good one.